Do you ever go into Reconcile and you find that you have a mistake and you're not sure why that's happening? Um, I actually got a question about this today, so if I come in and chat with you about it live, let me know if you are here live or you catch the replay if we've never met before. Hello, I'm Candace Camfer, and I love to help business owners, bookkeepers, QuickBooks users in general make QuickBooks super simple and create confidence. So I received this question today and it has to do with credit cards. It's one of the top things I get asked often um, on my YouTube channel, through email, however you are reaching out to me. And so I thought this would be a good one to discuss today and it has to do with cleaning up. So this is about after you've reconciled and you go in, you go to do your next reconciliation and you find that that payment is in there again. So, or that transaction is in there again, you go to delete it, which is what this person's asking about. Yet, when you go to delete it, it messes up your reconciliation. Why is that happening? Let me know if you've ever done this before. Now, one of the things that um, she shared is that I understand, uh, what I don't understand is if I doubled it, why when I took it out, is my, am I having an issue? And then secondary, she mentioned, I know that you don't recommend unreconciling to fix these kinds of mistakes, but can I do it in this case? So I wanna talk about why I don't typically recommend unreconciling and then what to do instead. Let me know if this is something you've been needing some support with. So let me jump into my QuickBooks and I'll share my screen so you can see it. So when you're in here and if you accidentally enter a transaction, so let's walk through the process. You've gone in, you've entered in your credit card charges, you've entered in your bank transactions, whatever it is. And one of the things I recommend is that you reconcile every single month. So when you go under banking and you go down to reconcile, this is whether your desktop or online, you're comparing, let me see, I think I have, Here it is. So when you're in here and you're grabbing, you're gonna reconcile. So reconciliation is where you're taking what the bank says happened in comparison to what QuickBooks said happened. And that's what I'm doing in this screen right here. And so you come in here and you're choosing your bank, your date of your reconciliation. So it's always gonna be the ending date of your reconciliation um, goes here and then whatever the balance is. So this is just a sample file that I use for creating trainings, but let's go ahead and click continue. So if we come in here and whether you're current on your reconciliation or you're trying to do old reconciliations and you find that you found a duplicate, if you go in and you just delete it, especially if you're not deleting it from this screen, which is showing open transactions, you could be, and probably what this person who's asking about did is they went to their register, they found a duplicated transaction they just saw it in there twice, opened it up and deleted it, okay? Came over here and deleted it. So one of the things I teach inside QuickBooks Simplified, which we're getting ready to open if you're needing support with um, cleaning up mistakes, check that out when it's coming. But one of the things that I often teach in there is that if you are going to avoid it, it depends if it's current or old, there's all these variables, but if you are gonna be cleaning up, you wanna make sure it's not the one you've already reconciled, which is probably what she did. She went in and deleted the one that she reconciled and there's still one sitting there, but the one sitting there was the one that had never been reconciled. Now, there could be more types of mistakes. For example, it could be um, when you went to make the payment on your credit card from your bank account, you didn't pick the right accounts or you did enter it twice. So there's some variables that can happen, but let's keep this example super simple, which is I accidentally paid my credit card twice. I reconciled one of them and then the other duplicate was just sitting there. And when I deleted it, it's now throwing off my reconciliation. So what I would do instead in that case of deleting it is I would do what I teach, which is called a cleanup reconciliation. This is where you go back in and you reconcile it, but instead of changing your ending balance, you leave it the same, click continue and go in and find the replacement transaction, check on it, check mark it, it'll balance out to zero and you move forward. That's what's called a cleanup reconciliation that will save you from unreconciling, unreconciling, unreconciling. Because often you will ask me, and you may have reached out to me and asked me this question, like, can I just unreconcile? Well, it depends, right? It's not a yes or no answer. It depends what you've done. If you accidentally deleted a transaction, there's another one sitting there, and the one you deleted was the one that's reconciled, yes, you can just check mark it. If you've deleted a transaction and never added it back, and when you go to unreconcile your uh, statement, you find you're still off, it's because 
unreconciling won't fix it if there's a completely deleted transaction in there. So what do I mean when I say unreconciled? So if you go in here, whether you're desktop or online, there is undo last reconciliation here. And what people will do is they'll click that and QuickBooks will undo the reconciliation. And then they go back and they go, oh, my beginning balance still doesn't match. I'm gonna unreconcile again. Oh, my beginning balance doesn't match. I need to go back six months ago. Well, what's gonna happen is, even if the transaction was from six months ago, if you keep unreconciling, you're never gonna fix it if it hasn't been re-added, okay? Now there's all kinds of variables that could go into the cleanup process, but the key is to figure out what went wrong, okay? If you don't know even how to find if you have mistakes or what to be looking for, if you do have mistakes, I'd recommend joining my Cleaning Up QuickBooks workshop. I'm actually doing it live next week. So if you haven't saved your seat, you can. Let me give you the link so you can um, join if you want. You go to canscamper.com forward slash cleanup. This is where you're going to figure out if you do have a mistake, how to fix it but also not so much how to fix it, but how to find them actually. So what we're gonna start with in the workshop is learning how to find if you have mistakes and some strategies to fix them. Um, so whether you're desktop or online, unreconciling. If you're going in here and you're unreconciling them, it's not gonna fix it. Now with the online, what makes it a little bit trickier is you can't necessarily just unreconcile. You have to ask an accountant to do it. You can go into the reconciliation screen and undo the C, undo the R to a C, but the best strategy is to do what I call the cleanup um, reconciliation. Let me know if that's something new, you've never heard it before, and if you'd like to learn more about it. Um, again, if you'd like to attend my workshop, you can go to canscamper.com forward slash cleanup and make sure to save your seat. If you can't attend live, you can always catch the replay. So let me know if you've ever had the same issue that I was sharing before, which was all about doubling it. Go in and double it, then you remove it. What's the issue? What did you learn? One, just make sure first, if you're gonna avoid a transaction, it's better than delete it. You wanna make sure it's not the one that's been cleared. That's the first step. The second step is instead of unreconciling, it's better to do what I call a cleanup reconciliation. If you'd like to learn more about that, let me know. If you need support on learning the how to's, of uh, cleaning up, I'd recommend checking out QuickBooks Simplified. And if you'd like to learn if you have mistakes, um, join me on my workshop. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know if this helped you, gave you some ahas. I will talk to you soon. I look forward to seeing you on the workshop. Click on the link below or go to canscamper.com forward slash clip and I'll see you there. All right, let's get your reconciliations fixed before the end of the year so that when you go to file your taxes, it's even easier. Plus, typically, if you have your reconciliation doesn't balance, like your your balance in your bank isn't matching what's truly happening, especially if it's way more money, you're most likely have overstated your income or you're missing expenses, which means you're probably overpaying taxes, which nobody wants to do, right? So I look forward to seeing you there. Let me know if you have any other questions, comment below. See you soon, bye.